What does Warren Bridge Campground look like in Western Wyoming near the town of Pinedale? I couldn't find anything on YouTube. I wanted to share with you what we found when we drove here from Fontenelle Campground, which I have a video on YouTube. I'll leave a link in the description. Both of these campgrounds are BLM, but what does this place look like? Let's check it out. How awesome is this camp? Check out the uh, quietness. You can see the little shrubbery out there in the distance. That's the Green River right next to your camp. Let's uh, check it out a little bit more. Nice little river at camp here. Green River. As you can see, this campground is awesome. Um, if you're gonna camp here, ten dollar daily fee at because it's BLM land. If you go across the street, it's actually free on that BLM land. Or if you have the senior pass, it's only five dollars per night. But there's plenty of spots across the highway. Uh, we camped here overnight to go explore Upper Green River Lakes area. You can see the Green River here uh, flowing down from the mountains. Uh, this place is awesome, except for this dirt road. This dirt road is 18 miles of potholes. Took us two hours to traverse without my trailer in tow. So this BLM campground is a great spot to come if you want to go explore uh, Green River Lakes area. It's such an epic area to explore. So, But back to the campground. If you're camping at this place, I'm going to give you a quick tour here of a few of the sites. You want to try to stay on the outer edge. So you back up against the Green River and the shrubs off uh, in the distance there. If you camp on the inner loop, that's fine. There is only 16 sites here, and it is first come, first serve. So we arrived here around noon in September when we camped. There was plenty of spots to choose from. Before I take you around the campground on my truck, uh, there is actually two bars AT&T here from a cell signal standpoint and three bars Verizon pretty amazing and you're only about 20 minutes away from the town of Pinedale if you want to go get supplies let's go check it out the rest of this campground I'm going to show you some amenities at the end of the bathrooms and the dump station but to give you a feel for what this campground really looks like If you like this type of content, please consider liking and subscribing to my channel. I do a lot of camping, RVing, backpacking, hiking videos. This is on our trip up to the Green River Lakes area, which will be my next video. I'll explore that area with you guys. But let's get back to this campground. It's such an awesome campground. Great place to use as a base camp if you're exploring this part of Wyoming and the Green River Lakes area. <laughs> Pretty nice. Little grill. Got a fire pit that's not raised. So I left me some wood, it looks like. Maybe a table. Highway. Over there, you can see it. You can't hear traffic noise, though. You're far enough away. The advantage of staying in the BLM paid site area for $10 a night or $5 a night, you have some amenities. Even if you camped on the other side of the highway, you could always come over here and use the dump station. The nominal fee here for everybody is $5 to dump your tanks, so pretty convenient uh, way to get rid of the waste in your tanks. On the paid side, though, you do have washrooms that are vault toilets, very clean. Uh, host here is keeping this place really nice, uh, so very nice area to enjoy for a nominal fee of five or ten dollars a night. Uh, so that's it for Warren Bridge Campground. We're going to head 
up on the highway here and head up to the Green River Lakes area uh, about an hour and a half north along that dirt road. I'll show you some videos coming up in the near future of that dirt road and our hiking adventures up in the Green River Lakes area. Thanks for being here. Until our next adventure, I appreciate you guys watching.